Hi, I'm Natalie. Thank you for stopping by. I sell vintage and pre-loved luxury fashion at styledunder.com. My channel is all about slow fashion and health and wellness. If you're new here, welcome. I drop videos every Mondays and Wednesdays, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to show you how I paint the vachetta on this vintage Louis Vuitton monogram coussin GM bag. This bag is 18 years old and really needs a full vachetta replacement in the future. So I figured this is the best way to give it a facelift, keep it alive for many more years. The interior looks excellent. It just seems that the leather has not been kept up with with regards to having it conditioned regularly and just having it cared for. So the leather has a lot of cracks in the uh, outer um, shells of it, although it doesn't go deeply into the leather except around the hooks. It is still not as attractive as it could be. The Vichetta looks nice typically when it gets like a golden brown color, but this looks a little bit more brown and a little bit more dry. A good way to resolve that is to either dye the leather, the original Vichetta color, or just dye it a completely different color to make it a little bit eclectic, you know, like a cool little upcycling job, or basically do a full Vachetta replacement, which, you know, that's not really my gig, because um, I am more into reusing what we have and not so much, you know, using new materials to make something beautiful. Before any paint job, what I do and what I recommend is conditioning the leather on your bag, especially for the older vintage bags. You know, especially when you can see from the condition of the leather that it hasn't really been cared for as much as it, it should have been. Um, you know, you can definitely tell the quality of the leather by looking at, by looking at it. Um, so if you notice that it is dry or it's flaky or, you know, it, it hasn't gotten a lot of love, um, the first thing you want to do is give it a little bit of love with that conditioning. So use some leather conditioning on it and let it set for at least 24 hours. Depending on the quality of the leather on the bag, I would do this process multiple times. On this bag, I specifically did this process a couple of times because I could tell that this bag really needed um, a lot of love with regards to just making sure that the leather is being conditioned, being moisturized, being cared for, you know, being nourished. I think this process definitely helps to make sure that the leather is as responsive as possible to the dye when I get started dyeing it. For dyeing the leather itself, I use Angelus products. Those are the best, hands down. There are three components of this job that we're gonna do today. Uh, the first part is a leather preparer and deglazer. So we're gonna, we're gonna use that first to just kind of remove any oils, remove the original surface of the leather so that we can prep it for the paint to get inside once we start painting it. So then step two is gonna be the Vachetta acrylic leather paint um, portion where we're actually gonna add the paint to the leather or the dye if you want to think about it that way um, which you know I'm gonna be using those words interchangeably um, but I do want to be very clear in saying that there is specific paint that you should use for leather because um, leather it's its own unique material if you stick with Angelus you know you're not gonna be misled and then once the paint has dried we want to seal it in and to seal it in, we're going to need an acrylic finisher. So that is the final step of this process. So let's go ahead and get started with step one, two, and three. This should be fun. I'm so excited. <laughs>
I hope that you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel for videos every Mondays and Wednesdays. You can shop my sustainable fashion pieces at styledunder.com and connect with me on social media at styledunder25. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Au revoir!